Hey everybody, Wine Wednesday round two. We're back. <laughs> Technical difficulties, but uh, never fear, we're back in action. And Miser is here. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> All right, so this week we came up with another super fun, exciting six pack uh, aimed at yeah, hot so summer cool. nights. Um, plenty of those lately. Plenty of those. It's been smoking hot these days, so we've got uh, rosé, obviously, which we'll get to at the end because it leads right into miser. Little segue coming your way. Little segue, and the Schneider Gruner one liters oh. are back. Amazing. Amazing. You know, when we first got those in, I wasn't sure how they would sell. I, I thought, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a crazy little package, Gruner belt leaner. You know, it's not always on the top of everybody's mind. And they flew out of here so fast, we've basically been out of stock on them for three months. So I'm happy to see that back. And I'm sure plenty of you are happy to see that back. Because how much is that for a liter? <laughs> We're talking like 22 bucks for a liter of wine. That's a pretty really good. good wine. It's like a bottle and a half, basically, right? A yep. bottle and a quarter. That's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of wine for 22 bucks. <laughs> it is. And it's kind of a fun little story. I mean, like what Austrian producer doesn't segue or lead with their gruner for us? And we actually had yeah. to ask and they said, can you put it in a one liter? Of course. <laughs> yeah, why not? Put everything in a one liter if I could. I really, absolutely right? would. These little bottles, right? What's <laughs> up with those? That's what a bottle of wine should look That's like. That's what it should be. Just one guy's opinion. And a little coat drawn from the farm? Yeah, always always a favorite. A um, little organic, longtime family producer in the Rhone Valley, making really good Grenache blends, which are really, really well paired with anything off the ground. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with that, right? For, uh, you know, if you like a little more full-bodied wines and you like Rhone stuff, La has been, I think it's been our number one selling Cote Rhone for like you know, mm -hmm. 20 years or so. So that's a pretty good track record. Yeah, Absolutely. You're never going to go wrong with that guy. Costello Dalva, one of the best Back. values, $720, a yeah. uh, little Portuguese blend. This is so, so easy to drink. It's really easy to enjoy on its own without any food. Yeah. Um, just like a staple and a standard go-to. Such a good deal, right? Getting those wines in that like sixteen, seventeen dollar range is pretty hard these days. So mm -hmm. with discount, you're right in that range, and that's I think one of the best deals going. So there you go. Have you had this yet? Unbelievably good. Right? I think that might be my favorite new, like cheap red in the store right now. Seventeen ninety five? Yeah. Are you kidding me? So good. Uh, coming to us from the region of Navarra, so neighboring or more famous Rioja that we've probably heard of, um, but all old wines and one of the oldest little vineyard plots as well within the region of Navarra, correct? Yeah, that wine was just stunning. Like if you love Grenache and you like those sort of like fresher styles of Grenache, that one really pops. It's got that beautiful kind of floral like perfume nose to it. It's just like really pure, really pretty. You'll just be throwing that back like by the bottle of barbecues. It's <laughs> unbelievable. The fact that that wine is only seventeen ninety five. I couldn't just, believe it. It's shocking how good that is. So yep. if you're not even going to get the pack, come down for one of those. And and the crazy story about that, even though we don't have it on here today, there's a white partner for that. That's it's the same so price. Good. It's even better. Mm -hmm. And it's also seventeen ninety five. Mm -hmm. So that little duo right now, mm -hmm. it's not it's not the, the feature we're talking about. I think it's coming up in a week or two, but. That one is absolutely off the charts good, so don't yeah, miss that. Yes, you won't be disappointed, like 100% guaranteed. Um, and then another brand new Italian. Yeah, there you go. Our Lots of new ones. very first little Montepulciano that we've had. Yeah, Montepulciano is like something you don't, you don't see too much in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, so it's from the uh, sort of the East Coast, right? And they're just really punchy wines, lots of spice, really fruit forward, really like super delicious, easy going, kind of pasta pizza wines on a Tuesday. Uh, Amazing value again, it's under 20 bucks. So, everything really box. in this pack. I mean, we've priced it, we knocked a little bit off the full retail, so we're down at yeah, 115 bucks. 115 for six wines. It's a big well, deal. More than six wines, yeah, six later. wines plus a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the rose at the end. So, let's talk miser. Let's talk miser. Uh, so the miser rose, I loved this when we opened it. I've loved everything we've brought in from oh, these yeah. guys. Uh, Miser family, they've been around since, what, 1600s they've been making wine from? Yeah, they've been out of the wall. They haven't figured it out since, like, <laughs> whatever, 1690 when they started. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, uh, they've been an amazing pickup. This is one of those little, tiny family wineries that we love to find. It was really interesting because there's no information online about these guys. <laughs> they, we really found them in kind of an odd way. In COVID, we've had to get pretty creative sourcing new wineries because we're used to traveling we haven't been able to do that so these guys actually won a wine award that i follow um, for this wine here so they won the best pinot noir in germany for under 10 euros 
and uh, that kind of caught my interest. So I reached out to them, got some samples shipped over, we tried them. We didn't just like them, we absolutely we love, love them. them. And the prices are outrageously good. Mm -hmm. We're on this. We're always on the hunt for great Pinot Noir at good price points, and it's been harder and harder to find them because you know the French prices seem to be going up all the time, California prices seem to be going up all the time. So we're looking for that next thing always, like an interesting, fun, character-filled uh, Pinot Noir that's going to be under thirty bucks, which sounds easy, but it's actually quite it's hard to find. Nice. But this one really filled the bill, and it's also a single vineyard wine, which even makes it so more cool. exciting. So. Yeah. It's from Weinheimer Hola. <laughs> How's that? You say all these names. Good so job. <laughs> yeah, so it's from just about the town of Weinheim. So it's like a little slope vineyard. Hola means like hillside, or it also means hell, depending on which, uh, which uh, version of that you want to go with. But effectively, what we're talking about is like a hotter uh, hillside vineyard, right? And this one, I think, it's just like that pure style of Pinot Noir, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's really pretty, it's really elegant, kind of smells like strawberries. I'm going to taste two wines at once, because, okay. you know, why not? <laughs> You're a professional. Yeah, you can do it. all the time. This is nothing new for me. Uh, the cool thing with the rosé, it is made with 100% Pinot Noir as well. Yeah. Uh, so you get that, like, really ripe strawberry kind of aroma to it. And it's just got that little whisper of sweetness that I love on, like, a hot day when you're drinking rosé and also that makes it so, so food friendly. Um, yeah. If you're just doing, like, cheese charcuterie out on the back deck, like, that's going to be an awesome way to go. Absolutely. Um, and, yeah, the Pinot. I mean, twenty six ninety five. Pinot first? I don't know. There's yeah. too many. <laughs> I know. Where? Works? Pinot? Rosé? Yeah. Let's talk Pinot. Okay. I, I mean, for me... I'm going to say flat out my favorite Pinot Noir in the store under $30 right now. At, yeah. at a 26 box, I, I'm really like blown away that we can still get Pinot Noir of this quality right now. If you're a Pinot Noir fan, and I know there's a lot of you because we sell a ton of Pinot Noir, you really got to come in and try this. And if you haven't had a lot of German Pinot Noirs, this is a great one to cut your teeth with. It's not weird or strange. It's like kind of what you're going to expect from Pinot Noir, right? Like it's got great that real strawberry kind of note to it. Yeah, I think my favorite thing about it is that it is just that little touch more fruit forward and a little bit softer than some of the other German Pinots we get in. Because I yeah. mean, they're generally coming from a little bit cooler climate, um, whereas these guys, it's just slightly, slightly warmer there, and it just makes the grapes a little bit riper and a little more approachable. Yeah, I agree. This is a mm. great summer wine. It's going to be a really fun food wine. You want to throw that down with a little like, roast chicken. I think that'd be an awesome pairing. It'll go with pretty much any fish coming off your grill too because it's not so really good. that heavy. But it's got lots of flavor. Like the wine is light in color, but it really pops. So yeah, don't miss this. It's great. It's got that kind of lingering finish that like you just want more. Yeah, we're probably gonna have that finish. We'll have another <laughs> bottle open for you guys. Yeah, though, tomorrow. Probably. So if you want to come by and taste it, it won't be this bottle, but it'll be another one. That Can't possibly last like that long. <laughs> Let's talk Gewurz because I got a little confession oh. to make here. I don't okay. love Gewurz. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Great that I that I've loved, and here's why. Most of the Gewurz I taste is either kind of sickly sweet, which I don't love, or it's got kind of a bitter character to it. And I think the real tricky part with Gewurz Terminer is trying to find that, that balance of it's dry, but it's not bitter, right? Mm -hmm. And it's, it sounds simple again, but this is like a really tricky yeah. thing with Gewurz Terminer, and I think this one is riding that line perfectly. Absolutely. I'm the same as you, and I fall in that same category where it's been hard for me to find quartz demeanor that I get really excited about. But as soon as you smell this one, it's so, so aromatic and pretty, but not cloying and heavy, and yeah. you can't, um, you know, it smells like lychee fruit, and you just, That's like, all I get off the, yeah, the nose is, like, got that crazy, uh, like, like, really exotic reaching mm -hmm. that nose. I love that. It's, like, this one isn't even really that cold, and it's still, like, really drinkable right now, mm -hmm. which is... A pretty amazing feat, and this one goes for 20, 24, yeah. 24 95 So great price for dry converts. If yeah. you're in Alsace in France, you would easily be thirty-five bucks plus for that. So I think it's a tremendous value. Miser's wine prices are absolutely exceptional. Mm -hmm. Everything from the Rieslings to the Spreebergunder to the uh, to the uh, are spectacular. So and if you're doing any kind around. of like really aromatic dishes and food or like Asian cuisine yeah. and oh, those type perfect. of things, it pairs perfectly to have that really aromatic wine. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of got that like soft tropical note is a perfect, perfect pairing along that kind of food. Screaming out for a little Thai food, I think, but that's just me. Anything else going on this week, Robin? Oh man, I don't know. Is that not enough? Just a lot of stuff <laughs> coming in every week, right? Just pallets and pallets more wine. So uh, come down this weekend and maybe it's a help long us weekend. out. You need one of these packs. Yeah. 
help us uh, clear some of this wine out of here because uh, there's new stuff coming in all the time. Yeah. Thanks very much. See you on the weekend.